December. It's a cold afternoon, but we thought we'd best get down the plot and get our dahlias up. Uh, they sort of should have been up a while ago, but uh, just didn't get round to it, so we'd made a start today. So they're not coming up too badly, but uh, we thought we'd best get it done because the forecast is for some really cold nights coming up. So we're going to get them up, get the tubers into the greenhouse and see if we can get them covered up with something and hopefully they'll be protected from any keen frosts. Rather enormous. Pardon? This one's enormous. There's a big one. Yep. Cosmos as well. Again. Some dead cosmos. Some of those will sell so, won't they? Yeah. Maybe we'll get some again. Into two yeah. bits. Yeah. Grass is one. No, I want to put them in ages ago. All the tops have been cut back now, so we just need to finish digging up the mm -hmm, tubers. It's a case of how many survive the winter, isn't it? Yep. 
Last year they all survived, didn't they? I think we didn't think they had though, did we? No, but some that hardly had any tubers on still grew, didn't they? And did you say that produced some tubers this year? Reasonable ones, were they? Yep. So we've just far more? Yeah. Yeah? Some people wash all the soil off, don't they? Yeah, but I'm not. No. I'll just put them on the side in the greenhouse, I think they'll be alright. Why don't you put them upside down? No, I don't think they'll be alright on the side. It's just a case of any moisture not dripping into the uh, hollow centre, isn't it? Yeah. Into those, the sort of hollow stems. There's always the correct way of doing it and then the way that works for us, isn't there? Well, it has done in the past. Yeah. The last one. They're quite heavy, aren't they? Yep. That's a big one. I think that's an orange pom pom one, that. So now they're going to be wheeled into the greenhouse. I think one of the things that sort of kills them is the wet, isn't it? Yep. If they're just sitting in really soggy soil, mm. so we don't like it. We have in the past left them in, haven't we? Yep. We, um, in the past, even on our clay soil, we've covered them with a pile of straw and then put some black polythene over them to keep them dry. And then one year, some bees nested underneath, didn't they? When you went past the polythene, you could just hear this buzzing. Anyway, we, we've we decided to dig them up nowadays because... We did lose them for some reason when we were doing that. Well, I think one of the problems was we couldn't keep the bed tidy, could we? Yeah, we, did lose, we did lose them. And then when the bees moved in, we had to wait till the bees moved out before we could take the... Well, I've seen off. They all at this side. Yeah. So just to give them some more protection, you've got some oh, uh, sacking. old potato sacks, aren't they? Something been eating that one? Yeah, been eating them all. Surprising what mice will eat.
the framework from the tomatoes that's still there, isn't it? Yeah. And then we're going to put a pile of Enviromesh over the top. And it's a double purpose really, isn't it? It protects the dahlias, but it also is somewhere to store all the yeah. Enviromesh. Three standing on it. Sorry. A bit short of space in here. Can I come where you are? Cause it's a nice space. You're going to put that other piece on as well. No, I think it's a bit white. I don't? No, I'll just leave them with this piece on the Then you've got to remember to have a look in spring, haven't you two? Make sure they don't dry out. Yeah. I'll take them. Yeah, we've got to go pick all the rubbish up now, haven't we? Yeah. It's all in a pile though. Yeah. Right, so that's the dahlias taken care of for winter for now. Yeah. So we'll see you, see you again in a little while. So the final part of digging up the dahlias is to get rid of all the debris which will go on the compost. there'd have been a lot more debris if the frost hadn't cut them back, wouldn't they? Quite a pile there. <laughs> so that's off to the compost heap. So while Martin takes that to the compost heap, just a quick look at the parsnips. Still, we've got some that haven't grown very much at all. Be interesting to see if they were growing underneath the ground and then we've got the sweet williams that despite the weather are looking quite good so we've just a little bit of harvesting to do now we'll get on with that and then we'll come back in a little while So the first bit of harvesting that we're going to do is to dig some leeks. We're going to 
try one of the varieties we haven't tried yet this year, which are Osman. We picked some batter leeks last week and yeah they were fine and they didn't have any signs of leaf miner did they no. so we'll see what Osman can do what these do look think, smaller actually do you think they're all gold sorry do you think these are all gold yeah yeah but to be fair to batter a lot of batter died off in that dry weather yeah we were staging did. the dry weather where we just Actually, we forgot about forgot them, didn't about we? Them didn't well, we had so much to water yeah. that it was a case of out of sight, out of mind with yeah. the lakes. Oh, it's these ones that I thought were small. We still have one or two batters left at home, don't we? But seen as was it below zero? But um, seen as the weather's the weather forecast isn't so good, is it? So we don't know when we'll get down again. So we need to replenish our stocks. So the one lot that we haven't tried yet. Yeah, which poor Bella, I think. Poor Bella. I can get these few that are here. Yeah. In this yeah. Little group. Because we leave the roots on, so they do keep, don't yeah. they? Is that it? Yeah. Sorry? It's a vine, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Leave those there, we'll go get that survive. The Savoy cabbage that we picked last week did six helpings for dinner and a huge bowl of coleslaw, didn't it? It's not quite as big as last week's, is it? All this stuff's in the way. It's reasonably small, but it looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Clean that up and then see so what we're just taking like. one. Let's take that other one that I can get to. Well, we'll need some for coleslaw, won't we? Let's see what this one's like inside. I'll see what this one's like inside. If it's not any good, I'll come and get another one. It should be all right. Does well, it feel I'm firm? Yeah, it's firm, yeah. I'll go clean these two up and see what they're like. Right. We'll come back when they're cleaned up then. Not a great deal to harvest at this time of year, just those two Calabri Calabris, 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 <laughs> Savoys, which are called Cordessa and our Osman leeks. But we've plenty of fresh veg in the freezer, haven't we? And we we've, I mean, we've also oh, still yeah. got potatoes. Carrots, carrots, some beetroot, beetroot squashes, some spring onions, onions growing spring at home. onions, and we've actually just got the last few tomatoes that we're waiting to ripen. So yeah, that's not bad, is it? It's not too bad. It's in tomatoes December. in December. No. Anyway, we're off to get warm now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye bye.